today I will be doing a room tour which I've been wanting to do for literally so long and I'm finally doing it so yay <laughs> it is not my bedroom it's like a spare room in my parents house because I still live with my parents and basically how I got this room is when I was 15 I got a piano and then they put it in this room so I basically just claimed the whole room <laughs> And I'm saying like whole room but it is really small I think it's kind of hard to show perspective on camera but yeah it is small <laughs> so this is where you come into my room obviously and then over there I've got like my most used bags a scarf and also a hat but I've never worn it actually because it looks weird on me <laughs> and then just my shoes underneath it and then I've got my card holder thingy which I got at a charity shop and my mom really didn't want me to get it but I'm so happy I did because I really like it and then I've got my bookshelf which um, it just has a lot of old cameras in it with some plants and also some books and then I've got my old typewriter and I've also got it at a charity shop and then I've got like books on it I really like with like my sketchbook and then I've got my radio and some CDs and all my sketchbooks. In this one I've got some um, notebooks I want to paint on but I haven't got to it actually. And then in the other it's just camera gear and my microphone and also like old films and all that jazz. Then over there I've got my gouache and some brushes I use for watercolour and gouache as well. Then I've got my shipping supplies and next to it I've got my prints that I sell on Etsy. They are not like all my prints but only like the smaller ones. Over here I have got my desk which doesn't have a lot on it as you can see. On the right I've got my record player which is like my favorite thing in my whole room <laughs> um, and above it I've got all my records um, and on this wall I've got all these different kind of frames which I actually put up myself and I broke like the whole wall but you can't really see it so it's alright. And then I've also got this little thingy with all my oil painting mediums in it. And then under my desk I have got these drawers. First one just has a lot of random stuff in it. The second one just has pencils and charcoal and all in that direction. Then the third one also has pencils but also like markers which I barely use by the way. Um, and like oil pastels and just a lot of random things. And I've basically got another one with a lot of random things. I've got like gouache I don't use anymore. I think some oil paint and then like also my watercolor which I do use a lot. And then the last one I've just got a lot of paper and like sketchbooks and all that jazz. And then on my desk itself I've got my most used things like mainly pens and just my lamp. And then next to it I've got this thingy from Ikea which I feel like everyone has but it is really handy. I've got my acrylic paints on the bottom then on the one in the middle I have got big brushes I don't really use a lot. Um, some palettes and, and I've also got gesso <laughs> which isn't really exciting. And on the top one I have got like my basket with paint and then my most used brushes. And I've also got like some jars with mediums and all that kind of stuff. And next to that I've got my easel. Then behind my easel I store all my canvases and wood panels to paint on. Then I've got this old suitcase um, and a basket with all my knitting supplies. If you can tell what I'm knitting then I love you. <laughs> and then on this side of the room I have got my piano. I barely play anymore though which is such a shame. And above my piano I've got this square of chalkboard paint and on my piano I have got another typewriter but a yellow one this time which is my favorite color um, and it has some magazines on it with ducks and a camera. 
and then I've got just some plants. And then another duck, <laughs> because why not? <laughs> um, and I guess that's it for the video. I hope you liked it, and bye! <laughs>